Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. I'm having my morning coffee here at 6 a.m. And I was reflecting on a conversation I had recently with a co-worker. This was a very intelligent woman that I, I work with. And I recently joined a new team. So I was going to leave the other team and we were chatting. And she asked me, what series do you watch? And then I answered, well, I don't really watch series. And then she said, well, you must like movies then. What movies do you watch? And then I said, well, I don't really watch movies either. And then we got talking and then I told her that I don't even own a TV, like a TV set or a plasma TV or anything. She was quite shocked by that. And it's not the first time that people are shocked when I tell them that I don't even own a TV. And it got me thinking that, yeah, it is indeed extremely normal to spend two, four hours a day lying on the couch and consuming content. I see it every day when I go for my evening walk, then people have eaten their dinners and in every house, in every living room, I, I peek in through the windows They uh, from the street, of course. I'm not in their garden peeking in the window. <laughs> that would be very creepy. As I look into the windows, everybody is sitting on the couch with their with their remote control. And it is such a normal thing to do. And I'm, I'm not judging at all. So apparently I'm the odd guy. And it really got me thinking of like, yeah, I, I have I haven't had a TV in years. Like I, I don't I don't really do that anymore. And the reason is that I I really like I've become very intentional with my use of time. And when I was watching TV when I was younger and when I was watching series when I back when I was living in Norway still, I I reflected on that use of time and I I found it not to be very conducive to the goals that I set for myself. That time spent on consuming content was not contributing to the goals that I want to achieve. And I think that's the key point here, that you really need to have goals for yourself. Because you don't. if you don't have goals, if you don't have a direction you want to go in, well, then you are just a ship drifting on the sea without a captain, right? You, with no direction. And I think it's very important in life to give yourself, to give your mind a clear direction that you want to go in. You see, it was a very conscious process for me, stopping to cutting off my Netflix cutting, not doing away, throwing away my TV or selling my TV when I moved. It was not something that I um, impulsively did or as a statement or anything. It was more like, oh, I'm not even using it anymore. Why, why would I still pay for it? I would rather have 200 euros in my pocket so I could spend it on books or whatever. And... It was a very conscious process for me, again, because it, it wasn't contributing to the goals that I had set for myself. And like I've, I've watched series. I'm not, a, I'm not a big series watcher, but I really enjoyed watching Breaking Bad, of course. That was really fun. But I always like you get into this phenomenon that you binge watch a series like you, you, st you start one episode and you can't stop. Well, whole weekends would go by. And then I would think back and then, huh, I had actually wanted to do this coding project or I really, uh, what I really wanted to do was something more productive or finish that book or finish those studies. And I started to feel guilty about the use of time. And this is a very difficult um, place to be in, right? Because on the one hand, you don't want to start feeling guilty for enjoying yourself. I've also been there. That's not healthy either. But I, I do started to feel guilt about spending a whole weekend on watching a series and seeing that it didn't contribute to the goals that I had. So in a way, it was a very conscious, uh, a very um, 
what's the word? It, it happened of itself. It wasn't it wasn't a very conscious thing like oh I'm I'm not going to watch Netflix anymore or I'm not going to I'm not going to spend my time on entertainment anymore. No, it was not conscious. It was more like I started feeling guilty about spending so much time on mindlessly consuming content. And then I I realized that I got more enjoyment out of working towards the goals. Somehow I get a lot of enjoyment out of learning new things or finishing a coding project that I wanted to do for a long time, building a home lab. I get much more in enjoyment and more sustainable enjoyment out of that. Sustainable. I'm, I'm not against watching a movie here and there. I'm not against enjoying a series. I'm against when it starts to get out of hand and you're doing it while not even thinking about it. You know this phenomenon where you, I've been there, where you <laughs> open Netflix and you sit there scrolling through and deciding what to watch? Well, <laughs> I, I was there and I, I, I literally spent several hours a week on that activity. Say They say two hours a week. Well, those two hours I could have spent on getting 2% closer to my certification goals or, or consuming something actually meaningful like a good documentary or a good talk about a topic. So just deciding what to watch and then you're watching something and you're not really satisfied with it either because they didn't grab you. No, 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 no. That's not the way to go. That's not the way to go. When you get a good recommendation from someone and they say, you must see this series, then you are going into it with intention. You're saying, oh, I want to see this. I, this is something I, I, would, I will probably enjoy. Let's give it a shot. Nothing wrong with that. But... Balance it. Put it in a way that it doesn't take away from the goals that you are achieving. And sometimes you need to wind down. Sometimes you, like when, when, when studying or working on something, you can't actually do that for 12 hours a day, right? Like that's just impossible. After a certain amount of hours, you are not taking up any information and you can sit there and force yourself to do it, but it's not going to work. In those moments, it's actually more productive to take a break and to do something completely different, let the mind rest on something else. But again, be intentional about it. Like right now, in my life, I'm even intentional about all of the technical content that I consume. Like I, I don't even play video games anymore. I don't watch series. I, I don't do, I hardly do anything that doesn't directly contribute to my growth as a DevOps engineer. Because I want to be, my goal is to be the best engineer that I can be. I want to be a master of my craft up until the level that I can achieve. And it's not about being better than others. It's not about comparing myself to others. It's all about recognizing the abilities that I have, the capabilities that I have, and the limits that I have, and then do my best to achieve those. And it doesn't matter where that bar is. It doesn't matter how good I will eventually be. As long as I'm as good as I can be, then I know that I have... That, that, that is the goal that I want to achieve. So in my field, there's just so much stuff to learn. There are so many technical articles writ being written every day, so many new technologies coming out. And I, I, I want to do all of it. I want to read all of it. I want to consume all of it. I want to write blogs about all of it. But I'm, I'm overwhelmed. It's too much. So what I do is I keep a list of things that I want to watch things that I want to consume, videos, articles, everything. I keep it on a list. And when I am done, when I have room in the day, so 
besides creating courses for my school community, working eight hours a day, running for one to two hours a day, and preparing quality organic food from scratch every day, I only have about one to two hours to spend on myself, basically, or 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 my or con- to consume content or to do something that's not directly working or contributing to health. And I have to be very intentional with that time. So what I do is I keep a list of what I do, what I want to see, things that are recommended to me or that I get from RSS feeds. And then when I do have the time, I pick a something from the list, I consume that, I write notes about it, and then that's that. And I'm very intentional about it. And that's the only way that I can meaningfully consume content and also um, to actually to actually get something out of that content. Like reading Reddit while you are in a meeting doesn't really do anything. Like human beings cannot multitask. They can't. It's scientifically proven that you cannot actually multitask. And I am particularly bad at multitasking. When I do something, I put my entire focus on it and I can only put my entire focus on it because if I do, not, nothing gets focused on. So I can't sit in a meeting and do something else at the same time. That's why I often decline meetings because if I don't can if I can't meaningfully contribute to it, it's much better that I spend my time productively. So I'm very intentional about my content consumption and that's what works for me. I get much more enjoyment out of the content that I consume. I remember things better. I give it my full attention and when I realize okay, this was on the list, but I don't really want to watch this anymore, then it gets stri- struck off the list and I can watch something new. So that's what I what I do. And going back to the, the conversation I had with this, this, uh, this lady, this woman, like she was so shocked about what I did. And then we got talking about my productivity and then she, she was like, well, wow, you're really... Um, achieving things and you're so it was it was recognized by her that even though I have chosen this lifestyle it is also producing results and that was a nice recognition of all of the hard work that I'm putting in and also it caused me to reflect on well is this the right way should you live your life this way should you always be productive and not enjoy series for me it is for me it's the way I get much I feel that I'm living a very fulfilling way life a very fulfilling life that I live meaningfully intentionally I'm heading in a clear direction for myself and I I reach those goals and not even owning a TV helps me with that I never feel guilty about time I spend on watching series I don't play video games I, I, I watch YouTube, but I, I, I watch technical technically related content usually or health related content. But anything that contributes to my growth is the only content that I think is meaningful to consume. And um, that is the way I choose to do it. And I hope this might, um, these reflections, these morning reflections can be of some benefit to you. I'm not saying that everybody should do this. It's not meant for, it's not really intended as a general guideline for the general population. But if you want to achieve great things for yourself, I think this is a good good place to start. I wish you a good day or evening and see you in the next video.